If you are a digital marketer or your business uses any sort of digital marketing, then this is the video for you because for the next few minutes, I'll be discussing some trends that will be dominating the digital marketing industry because some trends just come and go, but some trends are here to dominate an industry for the next few years. And in this video, we'll be talking about four of those digital marketing trends that are here to stay and that will destroy you if you don't implement them within the next 12 months. So first thing I want to talk about is voice search. Now we've all watched Gary Vee's 2015 keynote that he uploaded last week and his 2018 keynote that he uploaded yesterday, all of them talking about voice search. Now I honestly don't blame the guy because more and more of us are using Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant to search on the internet instead of just pulling out our phone and typing it down ourselves. Now the thing about typing out something on Google versus asking Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant is that when you ask Siri or Alexa, you're more elaborate compared to when you type it down. Because if you actually had to take out your phone and type out manually, you type out something like the closest gym near me, versus if all you had to do was say Siri where's the closest gym near me that has a Stairmaster that's two totally different things while Siri would actually give you gyms that have a Stairmaster typing it out manually would just give you gyms and you'd hope for the best that that gym had a Stairmaster the difference between the two is that the voice search had a long form keyword while the typing it out manually had a very short competitive keyword. See, when you're going after a long form keyword, whether you be putting it on Google AdSense or using it for SEO, it is way more easier for your business to appear on the first page of Google and for cheaper just because you used long form keywords that not a lot of other businesses are using and I feel like this is something you can really capitalize on because very few businesses are actually focusing on ensuring that their products or their websites are voice search compatible so that's a very great thing to do because I know when it comes to something like Alexa or Siri and Google might have the same thing but if all I had to do is say please buy me some milk well it will be up to Amazon or Apple to decide which milk brand they should buy your milk from. And see the power of that. The key thing there is that when people do start using voice search instead of typing things out manually, only one or two brands will survive because only those one or two brands will be voice search compatible because it will be up to Amazon or Apple or Google to pick who they feel they should buy the product from and they won't even care about number two, three, four, five, six because honestly when it comes to something like voice search only one or two people can survive in the market. Moving on to the next thing which is chatbots. Now the great thing about a chatbot at least for me personally is that it has two pros. Number one instant solutions and number two it lowers your overhead costs now the thing about instant solutions is that a person doesn't need to wait five or six or eight minutes waiting for a virtual assistant to reply back to their messages and number the next thing is that like a person doesn't need to have to manually take copy your email paste it in whatever email service they're using and have to type their complaint on their email because you're literally forcing them to leave your website and go onto an email and send you an email and there's a high chance that between the process of them leaving your leaving your website and them going onto the email service provider that within that five minutes of them needing to do that there's a high chance that they'll get distracted and there's a chance they might not even come back to your website so it also ensures that everything remains internal everything remains on your website so that you remain with your customer or your potential customers attention 
now the next thing is what we talked about which is it lowers your overhead costs now i went into more in depth about this at the first point but basically you don't need to hire a virtual assistant to be staring at the screen 24 7 waiting for a customer or a potential customer to file a complaint or file a query about a product or a service whatever it might be you're offering because well the automation the software will handle it itself whether it be facebook whatsapp intercom whatever chatbots you'll be using it honestly doesn't matter because every one of the top chatbot softwares out there in the market have an automation feature where they search your client or your potential clients message and they search for one or two specific keywords and from the keyword that they find a specific message is sent to them right so maybe they have a problem with shipping right then you'll have if they type something like hey i have a question about your shipping or hey i have an issue with the shipping well then a message will be sent to them replying back to their message asking them or giving them the option to get an answer to maybe shipping prices or shipping times same thing when it comes to refunds right maybe the customer had an issue with the refunds or maybe a potential customer is asking about a refund policy then the automation would just add or reply to their message and giving them an option to either get a refund or query about how the refund policy works now where you'd want to place your chatbot is on your website and as i said it doesn't matter what sort of website you put your chatbot on whether it be a sales call funnel built on click funnels or e-commerce website built on shopify or wordpress because the chatbot only solves one purpose customer support so the next thing is understanding how dopamine works the dopamine framework now how you go about doing this is creating a win-win situation for both yourself and your customers now facebook has perfected this knowing how to do that and trigger dopamine by having its users scroll down to refresh their news feed which is no different than a casino slot machine to pull a lever down and pray that the three images all match each other to win right it's all that's happening is that dopamine is being triggered and you can do the same thing with your website or with your business right finding a way to trigger dopamine within your business or within your website i've seen a ton of e-commerce brands go ahead and do something like this by introducing a slot machine pop-up or oh, it's not really a slot machine pop-up by introducing a spinning wheel pop-up when a user goes onto their website and the person in order to be able to spin the wheel they need to put in their email address and once they do put in the email address they're able to spin the wheel and when they do spin the wheel there's a high chance that they'll get a discount coupon right and with that discount coupon they can go ahead and they're incentivized to purchase a product on the website right so in that situation both participants win right the business wins because while well, the business is able to get the potential customers email address so they can start uh, sending them some email drip sequences right to get them to purchase email marketing and the customer also wins because the customer gets their dopamine triggered and they also get a discount coupon for them to purchase a product for cheaper so there are multiple ways you can go ahead and introduce dopamine triggering effects within your website and your business now we're moving on to the next thing which is ai now this really touches my heart because honestly i've seen a ton of softwares being built where they're having ai attempt to start advertising for a brand or for the business this is a very concerning thing because although these softwares have been failing to run these ads profitably they'll reach a point where AI is able to run the advertising themselves. So you as an agency owner should be able to know how to integrate the AI and add it into your offer. So instead of being left behind, you're able to use that to your advantage as a sort of leverage. 
So AI is something you need to keep an eye on within the next few six to 12 months. And it's something you need to be willing to understand and learn whether it is you who will be learning how to code and understand the AI software or getting an AS to learn how to understand the AI software. Now, the last thing we'll be looking at is Dialogflow. Now, Dialogflow is a more advanced version of a chatbot. We're looking at it through the back end because it only focuses more or less on the leads that you generate through your ads. And when I say the leads you generate through your ads, I mean the leads you generate through your ads where the lead actually goes ahead and fills in their name, phone number, and email for you to be able to send them a drip sequence of email and sms and what the dialogue flow actually does is that it replies to the leads who actually reply to your email or sms by itself it replies to the leads who actually reply to your email or sms by itself dialogue flow is nothing more than a self-learning AI, a chatbot AI, where you might have to reply to the emails or SMSs for the first 1,000 to 2,000 emails or SMSs, but after that, you don't have to reply to anything because the dialogue flow, the AI itself will be the one doing the replying to the emails. So those are the four digital marketing trends that I feel you need to start implementing within your agency or business within the next six to 12 months if you do hope to stay on top of this digital marketing game and go ahead and hit the subscribe button that's right underneath me and check out this video that I personally recommended for you.